Okay, welcome, welcome back after the coffee break. We're gonna now start with the contributed session. And it's a pleasure to introduce uh, Tai Nguyen, who's an assistant professor at the University of Laval. And he's gonna talk about utility maximization under endogenous pricing. The floor is yours. Thank you very much for the uh, very kind introduction. And yeah, I'm super happy to be part of this great conference. And many thanks to the organizers for making that uh, happen. Um, so today uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about one of um, you know the recent research that I I've, I'm working with uh, Mitya Stacher, who's professor in University of Ulm, Germany. So um, we're gonna we're gonna focus a little bit on you know the utility maximization problem with uh, you know um, under the under the setting with market price impact. So of course, uh, a little bit of motivation you can see here, and this is the, this is the uh, kind of you know my very first uh, picture that I asked uh, ChatGPT to produce. And hopefully, <laughs> you can see something. I'm not sure that uh, this uh, perfectly you know illustrating uh, the idea. But after, anyway, in uh, classical financial mathematics, we typically assume that okay, the price you know, any risky asset is uh, you know. Uh, exogenously given, right? And then we we also assume that the trading actually don't have any impact on the price. Any investor so can be considered sort of like you know price uh, taker anyway. But actually, there's a lot of evidence uh, proving that okay, uh, trading activities can you know can 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 can, can change can have a significant impact on the, uh, on the, uh, on the uh, underlying price. So this is where we want to, uh, to, to contribute and, and to have uh, to take a look on, on this uh, perspective. So um, there's a huge literature on market price impact. So I, you know, I, I cannot list all the, the papers that has been published recently and then, you know, uh, up to, today but actually we can we can see here is post uh basically many of them you know focus on you know exogenous price impact or um you know um temporary market price uh price impact models so in the sense that uh the uh, the impact is going to be um modeled by something that is you know uh, given outside from outside the, uh, the, the model setting. And uh, what I want to mention here is the setting by Bang and Canberra. This is a very, very nice series of papers um, by, by Bang and Canberra, in which they look at the price impact uh, caused by you know, liquidation uh, risk. And then basically they, 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 have, uh, they have assumed um, you know, a utility function of you know, from von Neumann and Morgan Star uh, type. And, and from that, they, they show that there exists um, a representative liquid uh, supplier. And uh, they also uh, established um, you know, a nonlinear stochastic uh, intro representation for the profit and, 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 and lost uh, you know, process of, uh, of, the, of the last trader. And uh, another very re um, relevant uh, to what we do in right now is the uh, you know the paper by uh, Micha and and Mazagi in in uh, 2018 where they also assume a permanent price impact, but you know is instead of considering you know um, a utility function as in 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 Pan camera, uh, Micha and and basically, they, they assume that uh, the uh, the valuation of the you know market uh, maker is uh, given by uh, a convex um, a convex risk uh, risk measure. So actually, they can uh, 
in this in this uh, model they they assume that you know um the uh, the the price impact is uh, uh due to um liquidity based uh setting and also uh, you know they also prove that pricing and hatching can be done in you know uh, by looking at you know semi linear uh, BD uh, problem. And the intersection of you know the Surya paper by uh, Bang and Campbell and you know uh, the setting in in, uh, in Fuzukawa uh, and, and Stature is uh, considered has been considered in in Anthropolos uh, and cohorts in, in in this paper in which they have sorry in which they have um, kind of you know very special case uh, with you know exponential utility function okay however the problem of you know optimal portfolio uh, of large trader has has not been uh, um, considered in in any you know of the, of the papers that I just mentioned. So this is uh, where we, we're trying to, to contribute. So maybe let me just briefly, you know, uh, show you uh, the setting. So I see here that uh, we have Ant Securities, so whose value at capital uh, day, capital T is given, okay? And, you know, we have, uh, you know, N uh, Securities, However, however, the, the price at a small t before, you know, in between is not, uh, you know, is, is not given, okay? And it will be uh, inertiously determined by a utility-based mechanism. And that's where we, we try to see, you know, the price impact uh, caused by trading activities. So uh, we have two agents, okay, following the setting, of the, the prior setting, so we have uh, two agents, the market maker, okay? We call a price for each volume of the security. So we, of course, have keeping in mind the limit uh, order book uh, literature in mind. Uh, the, the market maker, she can be risk averse, of course. And by, do, by saying that, I mean, she can call, you know, any uh, um, a price which is non-linear in volume and and would depend on, on his inventory on, on its uh, security. Uh, however, as uh, suggested in, um, in Bang and, and Canberra, uh, the, uh, you know, if we assume kind of a veteran type competition between liquidity suppliers, we can assume that the representative liquidity supplier will give a code according to utility in different prior, um, principle. And from the other hand, you know, uh, well, from the other side, the large trader, so now she, um, she will refer to the code and make decision. And of course, she cannot avoid right, market impact due to you know, the inventory consideration by the market maker. But she can seek you know, uh, an optimal strategy if she wants to maximize, for example, her expected utility function. So if we go to, you know, the representative the degree of uh, suppliers uh, perspective, we can, uh, you know, take a look at the way that the market maker will evaluate, you know, the price based on, you know, the, her inventory, you know, value. So if everything is clear, so I mean, uh, the model setting is known perfectly. So we can think about, you know, expectation setting. So here is the Q is of course to, uh, you know, risk neutral uh, measure for example. However, if, you know, in reality, the liquid uh, supplier may, you know, may have to, to deal with uncertainty about the two model. So in this sense, we can assume that, you know, her, um, evalu uh, her valuation can be given by a convex screws measure. And by doing so, we can have here some kind of, you know, balance function, right? So, of course, uh, we can, you know, the, the C function here can be linked to kind of, you know, uh, plausibility level of, of the model uncertainty. And there has been a huge, uh, you know, 
uh, literature that's connected to what I just mentioned before. Okay, so this uh, link to the so-called, you know, uh, robust, you know, um, decision literature, right? So, which I, I don't want to go into, the, you know, every line here, but of course, just to remind you that, okay, it's very, uh, very important uh, area developed develop, uh, in parallel with, with what I, I just mentioned of, uh, you know, to, to convex switch measures. So from, you know, in, in the setting, we can maybe think about a couple of examples. So the first one is, of course, you know, conditional expectation, right? This is very, uh, very simple. Uh, second one, you can think about uh, the situation where the market, mag the market maker use, um, you know, an exponential, uh, exponential utility function. In that case, we can link the penalty function C to the so-called, you know, relative entropy function, right? Which, of course, everybody knows. Um, another quite interesting uh, example that I would like to, to mention here is, you know, the, the, the good new power theory, right? In this case, you can, you may th think about, you know, a function G, okay? That is, you know, um, positive, uh, positively homogeneous in, in this sense. We can see uh, later, okay? Um, another perspective that should be, you know, highlighted here is that there are, you know, correspondence between, you know, risk, uh, convex risk measure and uh, the so-called, you know, uh, G expectation. So the, in fact, there's, you know, for each, you know, of the examples that I just mentioned before, you can find out, you know, G function, which is convex in Z, and then we can uh, write out, you know, the evalu um, evaluation in terms of this uh, BSD. And uh, in our setting, we will show uh, our assumptions later in, in a couple of seconds. But actually, we can show that the, the pi here is concave. So, uh, you know, and also, you know, with every with on um, classical, how to say, classical properties of risk, you know, measure. So that's uh, kind of, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, the motivation of, of the, uh, how the uh, Mackey maker evaluates uh, her opposition. Okay. So uh, if you, go, you want to, to, to have some, some, you know, maybe more uh, specific uh, connection, you can link again, right, for it, uh, uh, examples that I just mentioned before to one of you know the other case here. So for example, if you want to link uh, the uh, you know the the case with uh, you know uh, where the market maker uses uh, an uh, exponential utility function, you can uh, consider a you know quadratic uh, G function. Okay, so so what is you know our main assumption? So here we assume that the security is uh, you know kind of generated as a function of you know um, the terminal value give r here given by you know a very uh, classical uh, SD. and however we are seeing also uh, here that her um, uh, initial endowment her actually you know initial uh, you know inventory. Is given by 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 the H M here, which is uh, separately, you know, uh, um, characterized by uh, by two parts. The one the H uh, octonal here, I, I think, is the you know only uh, modified by you know model by the the other uh, the remaining noises you know uh, driven by the the problem motions. And of course, we accept couple of you know technical conditions as usual. And then we want to uh, make some assumption, of course, on the G function. Okay, so in fact, we assume that uh, the G function should be convex and Lipschitz in Z, okay? And of course, G at zero is equal to zero, sorry. But if you want to do a little bit more general, you can add some, you know, correct term, which is defined by, by, by this graph. Okay, so in this paper, we we uh, we assume that G satisfies 
uh, on either one of, of these uh, conditions. And the, also, our G function so basically uh, satisfies the separation uh, assumption, meaning that you know the risk caused by you know the UI will be separately uh, you know penalized. That will still uh, facilitate, uh, facilitate a, a little bit right, our uh, representation. So let's uh, take a look at pricing and trading. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit uh, uh, of work. So, and, and I'm trying my best to explain you how, how it works. So here we are seeing that uh, theta is a very simple, uh, predictable, and, and you know, uh, strategy. Okay, and we suppose that at um, at times small t, okay, the, uh, the, the price, which is coded by the market maker, will be determined by you know, this uh, evaluation P, okay? And then if you look at the, the profit and loss at time capital T, we can rewrite this guy as the terminal uh, value, you know, minus on the, you know, the price that the uh, large trader has to pay. Right, and of course, B here is uh, you have a kind of you know the total uh, um, total uh, payment that 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 has been made to to the uh, to the market maker, and uh, uh, in fact, it's interesting to see that this guy can be can be uh, represented as you know um, a Kunita a stochastic, uh, stochastic uh, intro. So we can use uh, kind of uh, intro pass to represent this guy as the uh, intro, okay? And of course, we need to, to assume that uh, there are some you know, technical uh, assumption. So basically, you know, the, uh, the, the Z function here can be, uh, can be, uh, uh, can be uh, assumed to be, uh, you know, uh, to be good enough in order to, to make our, our model work. Okay, uh, so in fact, if we want to generalize this idea to continuous time setting, so we can uh, have uh, the following, you know, result. So if for any for a sequence of, you know, simple uh, training strategy, we can, you know, take a limit, okay? And then at the limit, the limit of, of, of theta n will be given by, you know, the, the, uh, the loss and, and, and profit process is given by this, uh, but this uh, BSDE with terminal condition, okay, given by, by this uh, HM, the, 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 the maker makers inventory. And uh, by, uh, you know, motivated by this, uh, this, uh, this result, we focusing on this, uh, you know, critical, this uh, uh, admissible set of uh, investment strategies. So let's uh, move on to have a look um, on the, you know, optimal decision of the, the, la, uh, the large trader. So of course, what is his problem? Of course, the large trader is trying to maximize his expected utility as usual, right? So his uh, position, so his terminal position will be given by, you know, uh, the, the loss and, and profit process uh, plus some initial endowment, HL here. So here we assume that HL is the it. okay? And, um, and as a matter of fact, the, uh, the loss profit process, the, the web process basically is given by, you know, some initial capital plus some, some, some loss uh, profit, I theta capital T, which is just mentioned before, okay? And the utility function here, of course, uh, it seems to be uh, strictly uh, increasing, concave and, and, and smooth. Okay, so, Going back to, to this setting, of course, working on, you know, on this uh, utility maximization program for it, sorry, for it, uh, for it, uh, you know, max maximizing on theta, of course, is much more difficult. Why? Because there are nonlinear, uh, uh, you know, characterization between theta and, the, you know, the, the Z component, okay? So this reason why we, we had the idea to, you know, translate this to you know a problem what is in which we maximize on the set of z theta and in order to 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 guarantee that uh, a solution exists we have to 
uh, pay attention on you know the z of images of z. So this for 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 this reason we we have to uh, work on you know kind of you know generalized uh, function of uh, version of the of, of the g function. Okay, and uh, okay this is not very you know very nice uh, rep uh, representation, but in fact what we want to say here is that the image of z can be you know uh, characterized as you know non uh, empty random interval. And, and, and which is uh, written in terms of a product of you know of uh, some 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 interval which is could be you know um, minus or plus infinity here and uh, as, as I mentioned if we want to you know we want to 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 uh, to characterize the optimal uh, strategy so the first steps to do is to look at the optimal z uh, component and for this, we have the following, you know, a necessary, uh, necessary optimal uh, condition. So in fact, we under some assumption, of course, we need to assume something, but then the, the optimal Z is characterized by this first order condition. Okay, so of course, here you have, you know, the sub uh, differentiate, uh, differentiable of, of the G function, the generalized uh, version, and of course, we have to uh, take into account the, the boundary of the interval that we just mentioned before. This reason why we have to, you know, uh, compare the, you know, the inverse of, uh, you know, the first order condition here by uh, of zero with, uh, you know, eight uh, boundary values of, of the corresponding interval. And uh, another remark here is that the, the, the edge function here, you know, could can be uh, explicitly computed. For example, if you want to, uh, if you have a little bit more specific um, form for on, on the G function, you can compute H uh, directly, explicitly in this way. And if, the fact that H here uh, can, in this case, of course, H can be seen as a linear function of M would facilitate a lot our, you know, existence result later, okay? So um, after characterizing, you know, the Z optimal. So we want to go a little bit um, one step further to look at how the optimality will be, will be uh, characterized. So the fact is that um, the Z optimal here can be linked to, you know, uh, to kind of um, the, the forward backward system uh, which is uh, given by by uh, by FPSD, okay, uh, number nine here, and this is a very non uh, non star uh, non uh, non uh, non standard um, FPSD because uh, the edge function here could fully depend on x zeta and m, even though you know edge can be you know can be shown to be linear bounded in 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 m, but it could be it could depend on omega even, okay? So that, 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 that makes the, uh, the theory uh, much more uh, complicated. And what I want to mention here is that, you know, the forward backward system here uh, actually only depends on the, the so-called uh, prudence uh, level of the utility function. So if we want to compute theta optimal, we can go a little bit further, okay? In this sense, we have to rely on you know some inverse functional Z two here, and we have there are a couple of you know uh, technical issues that we had to to, uh, to overcome, of course. But at the end of the day, we able to uh, to point it out to point out that okay, Z uh, theta star will be given by by this functional. Okay, so I think. Uh, that uh, could be uh, considered as you know sufficient condition of the our optimality uh, problem. Um, so as I said, the FPSD system that we obtain uh, in in this setting is highly non-standard, and uh, we we couldn't find any you know a good uh, theory to 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 convince ourselves that okay the, uh, the the solution exists. So we have to 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 move a little bit uh, one step. Forward and and to to show directly that this uh, FPSD actually you know uh, admits a solution, okay. 
And we, of course, we have a couple of, uh, you know, results concerning the, the, the existence here. But basically, you can see that okay, if the utility function of the agent used uh, exponent utility function, all quadratic utility function, you can get, you know, you can uh, you, you can show that uh, you, you can get the, uh, the, the the existence of the FPSD. Okay, so I I think I don't have enough time to to talk about this this section. Okay, because but basically there's you know very nice connection to F, uh, SPD here. But I what I want to say in the last couple of minutes is one example. Okay, so in this example we assume that the market is complete and the agent has zero. Okay, like initial endowment, and we suppose that the evaluation is given by by this uh, this formula, meaning that the market maker is using an exponential utility function, which is CB four. So in this case, you know, we can kind of mimic the uh, you know the usual the Merton approach right, to solve the optimization problem. So by those, uh, in order uh, to do that, we have. Uh, we we can introduce you know the market price uh, the, the 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 pricing kernel uh, Z, uh, CT here and then uh, we can uh, characterize um, you know the uh, we can obtain explicitly the optimal of uh, solution of the FPSD okay so of course you you can uh, do a little bit of you know calculation in there but actually the the procedure should be very very easy and uh, Another example here is that if the agent is uh, using, you know, an exponent ut ut utility as well. So in this case, you have, you know, a little bit more, uh, uh, more similar, so a little bit similar as a uh, solution for, for the FPSD. All right, so I have to conclude. So in this setting, we accept uh, some, you know, um, permanent uh, endogenous price impact model induced by inventory, you know, characterization, and we we provide you know uh, necessary and sufficient conditions for the optimality. And uh, some examples, of course, provided, but actually I I don't have time to talk about you know um, you know BSD here. Okay, so that's all. Okay, thank you.